when I look back at 1969, you know, I think about the moon landing, Neil Armstrong landing on the moon, Woodstock in upper New York, you know, kids my age fighting and dying in Vietnam, the civil rights movement, and finally the four African American students, athletes that were suspended for not giving a loyalty oath to Jim Owens. Well, there were thousands and thousands of people marching down the streets of Seattle in anti-Vietnam protests. There were riots going on in Chicago and Detroit. There was a time of great unrest, the campus being shut down by demonstrations. So here we were out there and about one last area of stability you had in your life was the team and all of a sudden it's disrupted. Even though the cards were stacked against those four gentlemen and, and Coach Gayton, they stood tall and remain true to themselves and held themselves in the highest of honor and integrity. And that was really bold for 1969 because the racial tension that they received, the animosity that they had to deal with was overwhelming. But they stood steadfast had these gentlemen had character? Yes, they do. Were they resilient? Yes, they were. Did they persevere? Absolutely. Let's look at 1969 and let's fast forward to 2021. And let's talk about what these gentlemen have done over the last 52 years to define what type of individuals that they are and what they have overcome. The lives that these men have lived after the effect uh, of the event is really significant to me. They're wonderful, wonderful accomplishments and great people. I'm happy that the University of Washington is recognizing these four athletes and Coach Gayton for what they had to go through. It was a very difficult time. It was a very difficult experience for those guys, but they made it through and they've all done tremendous things with their lives. So congratulations, Ralph and Lamar and Harvey and Greg and Coach Gayton for this uh, recognition and induction into the Husky Hall of Fame.